A soundbar is an all-in-one speaker system that delivers high-quality sound for your TV without requiring the space, complexity, and expense of a home theater system. Some soundbars come with a separate subwoofer for producing deep bass, while others offer specialized speaker configurations and codecs that add greater impact to movie soundtracks and music. But so many look so similar. Which ones are actually built well and have the features that will match your needs? In this video, we will break down the top 5 soundbars on the market this year based on performance and situations they'll be used in. So whether you're looking to get the most for your money with good sound performance for movies, TV, music, and gaming with virtual sound and ARC support, or a soundbar that doubles as a media streamer that supports 4K, HDR, and Dolby Audio, we'll have an option for you. So if you're interested in finding out which soundbar will be best for you, stay tuned. All the links to find the best prices on all the products mentioned in this video will be in the description below. The products mentioned in this video are in no exact order, so be sure to stay tuned to the end so you don't miss anything. Up first, we have the Yamaha YAS209, our choice for the best soundbar for the money. The Yamaha YAS209 delivers high quality sound that not only enhances the sound of your favorite movies, but is great for listening to music and gaming audio as well. The design of the YAS209 doesn't make it a standout, and that's a good thing for anyone who prefers their audio equipment to blend into the background and not cause a distraction when you're watching a movie. The YAS209 has several connection options. You'll find a single 4K and HDR compatible HDMI input and an ARC enabled HDMI output. And for TVs that don't support ARC, there's an optical input, plus an Ethernet port for those who prefer to use a wired network connection rather than Wi-Fi. Behind the speaker grill, there are two 1-inch tweeters and two 1.7-inch drivers. To handle the low frequencies, there's a 6 and a quarter inch woofer that is housed in a separate subwoofer and offers a DTS Virtual X surround mode that adds virtual height into the mix for spacious, lifelike effects that immerse you in your favorite movies and games. For the mid-range and high-frequency audio, the YAS209 features Clear Voice, an audio mode that specifically enhances dialogue, bringing it to the forefront. And to control the volume, play music and more with voice commands, Amazon's Alexa is integrated. You'll also be able to control any smart devices in your home like lighting, door locks, and more. If you're looking for a soundbar that gives you the most for the money, the Yamaha YAS209 gives you a decent solution that won't cost an arm and a leg. It upgrades the sound quality of your TV without drawing attention to itself and features a decent set of speakers backed by some powerful amplification. The separate subwoofer completes the package with its big, deep sound and the inclusion of DTS Virtual X manages to create a good surround experience. Up next on our list, we have the Sonos Arc, our choice for the best smart soundbar. The Sonos Arc is a premium smart soundbar that brings all your entertainment to life with cinematic sound and Dolby Atmos and has Amazon Alexa built in. The Arc sports a softened design that takes the shape of a rounded cylinder. Touch controls are situated on the top that lets you play, pause, adjust volume, and swipe to skip tracks. A small set of status LEDs above the Sonos logo give you some visual feedback so you'll know when it's actually registering your commands. With Alexa, you can play music, check news, set alarms, get your questions answered, and more completely hands-free. The 273-degree grill hides the array of front-mounted and up-firing speakers. Inside, there are eight elliptical woofers, including up-firing drivers for Dolby Atmos effects and three precisely angled silk dome tweeters. 11 digital amplifiers are assigned dedicated left, right, and center channels, alongside surround left and right, and upward firing audio to create an immersive 5.0.2 experience. Sonos keeps things simple when it comes to connectivity, and options include an HDMI port with ARC slash eARC support, an Ethernet jack, and the power input. To produce the best acoustic performance, the ARC performs an initial calibration that analyzes the room properties and then adjusts its output to suit the Sonos TruePlay technology. You're guided through the calibration using clear, step-by-step -step instructions through the Sonos app. And the process tunes the speakers in just a few minutes using an iOS device, and even factors in height for the Dolby Atmos. The Sonos Arc is stunning, and would be a great choice for you. For a soundbar, it delivers a highly immersive Dolby Atmos experience, and also acts as an excellent voice-controlled wireless speaker with access to music streaming service, and it can be combined with other Sonos speakers in order to create a more complete surround sound arrangement, or a multi-room system. Next up, we have the Roku Stream Bar, our choice for the best budget soundbar. The Roku Stream Bar has a small footprint, but offers clear, clean audio that will definitely improve on the audio you've been getting from your TV speakers, and it doubles as a media streamer. The Stream Bar is incredibly compact and will easily sit in front of almost any TV, or it can be mounted to the wall. It's a multitasker that will both upgrade the audio on your TV and become your new streaming device. The Stream Bar comes with a voice remote and supports 4K HDR and Dolby Audio. Inside, there are four 2-inch drivers. Two of them are front-facing, and two of them fire off to the side to help fill out the room. Around the back, you'll find the HDMI ARC port, which will give you the best sound quality, 
but there's also an optical input if your TV doesn't support ARC. The Roku user interface gives you access to all the big streaming services like Netflix, Prime Video, Disney+, and even Apple TV. And you'll really appreciate the simplicity of the interface. The home screen is basically just a tiled selection of your chosen apps, and the voice remote gives you all the control that you'll need to navigate the UI and control your media. It also gives you a voice search function that you activate by pressing and holding the search button on the remote, and speaking your search query. When you issue that search command, the stream bar will search through all the streaming services you have, so you don't have to do multiple searches with different services. If you have a 4K TV that is lacking decent smart streaming features, and can also use a little boost to the audio, the Roku stream bar can definitely help you out at a great budget price. If you're interested in updated pricing on any of the items mentioned in this video, be sure to check out the links below. Prices update on these products almost daily with sales and general price drops. So if you want to find the most updated information, check the description. If you find this video helpful, please help out the channel by giving this video a like and tell us which product caught your eye in the comments below. Up next on our list, we have the Sennheiser Ambio 3D Soundbar. Our choice for the best overall soundbar. The Sennheiser Ambio 3D Soundbar is a serious piece of audio equipment. It offers Dolby Atmos and immersive 3D sound through its 13 high-end drivers to deliver a 5.1.4 sound experience. A soundbar doesn't have the same kind of flexibility that a multi-speaker home theater setup does. So, the Ambio uses all of its speakers and beam steering technology to direct the sound around you, so that when coupled with your room's acoustics to make it impossible for your brain to discern the difference between a sound that has been steered towards you or a sound that is produced by an actual loudspeaker. You can then use the Sennheiser app to perform the room acoustic calibration and fine tune any settings. Once you're set up, your movie watching experience will dramatically change. The Ambio produces frequencies down to 30 hertz that you can really feel. The sound is deep and rich, and you'll likely find that a subwoofer isn't needed at all. The sound coming out of the Ambio is tight and well controlled with no resonance or rumbling. The mid-range, where dialogues reside, is incredibly articulate and clear while the high frequencies have a lot of top-end sparkle and a natural quality that complements the low and mid frequencies nicely. In terms of surround sound, the three-dimensionality of Ambio's performance can't be overstated. The 360-degree sound field is very immersive with impressive detail. And if you're watching movies with Dolby Atmos soundtracks, you'll get even more dimension through the upward-firing drivers. If you want amazing sound, enhanced by Dolby Atmos and with a frequency range that makes a subwoofer unnecessary, the Sennheiser Ambio 3D soundbar would be the best choice for you but you're going to need deep pockets to bring the best soundbar around home. Coming in at number one on our list, we have the JBL Bar 9.1, our choice for the best soundbar for true surround sound. The JBL Bar 9.1 is a complete true surround system that bundles a soundbar, a wireless subwoofer, plus a pair of wireless rear surround speakers into a convenient package that's easy to use. The Bar 9.1 is a 5.1.4 system that supports 4K and HDR and Dolby Vision pass-through and consists of the soundbar, two detachable rechargeable wireless speakers, and a wireless subwoofer. The wireless surround speakers are good for about 10 hours of use when fully charged, and when you need to top them up, they dock right into the magnetic charging stations on each side of the soundbar. The front panel of the main soundbar features a clean, simple grille, and behind it are four oval full-range drivers and three one-inch tweeters, while a pair of up-firing drivers supply audio for two of the four Adobe Atmos height channels. The two remaining height channels come from the up-firing drivers in the two wireless speakers, each of which comes equipped with 1-inch tweeters. Controls for power, volume, and input select are placed along the top, while a digital readout in front shows the active input, audio format, and whether the wireless surround speakers need recharging. The remote has controls for Bluetooth, HDMI, and Dolby Atmos, a volume rocker in the middle, a mute button below the volume control, and a pair of three-step buttons for adjusting the bass and rear speaker volume levels. Sound performance is clean and tight, with the four up-firing drivers managing to produce good height effects while music sounds detailed and alive. In movies with object-based DTSX soundtrack, surround effects come across as crisp, but packed with plenty of punch in the low end. If you're interested in a true surround system, the JBL Bar 9.1 is a soundbar you should consider. It's a flexible system that features Dolby Atmos effects for exciting and immersive audio that will make watching movies better than ever. Alright guys, that's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like. If you're new to the channel and you like the video, consider subscribing. We do our best to keep you up to date with the best products on the market right now, so if you want to stay current regarding the best gear, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the description for links to find the most up to date pricing on all of the products mentioned in this video. Hope you all have a great day, and we'll see you back here soon for the next video.